get out of my head. I watched uh, a guy yesterday, he was eating his lunch on a park bench, and uh, I just started crying. I mean, what's the, the point of eating anymore, even, you know, to survive? I think I'm having a little trouble following you on this one. What I'm saying is, like, here's a guy who has a job, um, a wife who probably has kids, but without that food, without the energy that's provided by that food, I, he won't exist anymore. So really, what choice does he have? He sat there and I watched him eat this turkey sandwich with this blank expression on his face. You know, he probably never questioning his purpose or, or why he's here. So, what you're really talking about here is death? I don't know. I mean, in our last hours, yeah we're headed in that direction, but everybody seems to be storing it away like it's um, an idea. Uh, we, like it's not even happening. It's uh, like a procrastination or something. It's kind of uh, heartbreaking really, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. The end is, uh, is gonna come and there's nothing that we can do to stop it. No, 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 no. We have plenty of time. We've got plenty of time to get it done today. No. Two days is too late. Come on. Right. Yeah. He can do it. He's got all the routing information. Yeah. Right. Okay. No, I don't want to use them again. Last time I used them, I, I lost a ton. All right. All right, good. Well, that's all I want to hear. Well, what are you still talking to me for? Next. Not getting the urgency of the situation. I need Please this to fill go through out right the away. areas in bold. If you need more room for contacts, you can use the back of the you form. You gotta get it done. When you're finished, take your forms into the next room. All right. Next. Next. Sorry. Please fill out the areas in bold. If you need more room for contacts, you can use the back of the form. When you're finished, take your forms into the next room to receive your blue bag and further instructions. Sir. Next. Please fill out the areas in bold. If you need more room for contacts, you can use the other side of the form. When you're finished, take your forms into the next room to receive your blue bag and further instructions. I'm telling you, you got the wrong guy. It wasn't me, man. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. You don't know. No. Really? You're all the time. Stop. Stop. Fiddling Emperor, four letters. Nero. N E R O. Yeah, 
pretty good joke the other day. Yeah? Knock, knock. <laughs> Come on, man. A knock, knock joke? Way to play the game, Sam. Yes. A knock, knock joke. Make amends. Five letters ends in E. Atone. A-T-O-N-E. Thanks. I do know how to spell. So... Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting. Interrupting cow? No. Not the cow one. Can a man finish his joke, please? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting doctor. Interrupting You doctor. have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, man. Not Laughed. funny. <laughs> Not funny. No hope. See? This is why I don't read the paper anymore. Well, really, what is there to hope for? Mo, if you don't have hope, then what do you have? I know you're an empirical show me to prove God, but come on. You don't need evidence for hope. You just have to want something better, for Christ's sake. Better than this. Don't you want that? So hope is fooling yourself. How are you fooling yourself if you're hoping for something? Even if it doesn't exist, it's an emotion. It's a feeling, and that makes it real. I just can't do it. Then go down to the GRA and get you one of those blue bags, just like everybody else. I'm not doing it, and you want to know why? Hope. Exactly. And all of the newspaper men and politicians, they can't get at it. They can't own it, because it's in here, and not at the bottom of some bag. Yeah? Where's logic, then? Have you ever heard the story about the tribe who worshiped a piece of luggage. <laughs> no, seriously. It's a true story. They were so remote, so far removed from everything that they had never seen anything like it. So one day, this beautiful piece of luggage just washes up on the shore. And the villagers didn't know what to make of it. In the beginning, the luggage was thought to be a divine blessing. They drew pictures of it, sculpted replicas. It even brought them closer together as society. But eventually, the tribe was split in two. The luggage never reciprocated their blessings, and this created doubt. Half of the tribe argued that the inside of the luggage contained all of the knowledge in the world. The other half argued that it should never be open. Eventually, this brought the two sides into a conflict. Let me guess. There wasn't anything inside of it. Who knows? They killed each other before they could even find out. <laughs> Thanks for proving my point. How's that? You already expect there to be nothing in it. And I can't change that. You know, with everything that's been going on or whatever, I know we've never said it, but... I want you to know that I love you. You're like a brother to me, and that love is real. I know I can't prove it. <laughs> I don't know how you can prove something like that, but it's real. You want me to say it too, don't you? <laughs> Look, Sam, I love you. Hey, of course I do. Say it louder. <laughs> I'm joking. These people up in here don't know you and they don't care who you say I love you to. <laughs> Take care, Mo. Hope.
have 11 messages. This is a government release. This is a government release agency pre-recorded message. This is a 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 government release agency pre-recorded message on the behalf of Judith Bryce. This message is being delivered per request of the author. I'm sorry. I just can't wait around anymore. I don't even think there's anyone left to hear this. God damn it. Judith. Hello? Hello? to do. <laughs> of course you, of all people, would want to go to work. It was frightening. It's the only time I've been scared in all this. I'm not scared. It's almost a relief knowing. It would have been nice to know when they did, years ago. Yeah, maybe, but what's the point? That would have been crazy. Yeah. Freezing. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I just wanted to clear some things up. Okay. Shoot. I stole from your purse once. It was like 20 bucks. I felt terrible about it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> clear that out. Okay. I absolve you of your sins. Feels good. I feel like I can start living again. <laughs> Since we're clearing the air, you 
you remember that guy that you were always worried about? Jeremy? Yeah. Well, I did kiss him once. But we were both drunk and it's, it was... It's like it never happened. Really gross. It's absolved. Absolution. <laughs> I did want you to know, though, that uh, I really did love you. I mean, I still love you. I've always loved you. Moses, why? Why did you say that? I can't say that to you. I can't. It's not fair. No, you no, no, you wanted to no, no. be honest, right? No, like, like love, like friendship, love. I'm, I'm just, I'm not saying this right. We're friends. We dated for a while, and now we're really good friends. That's all. That's all. I gotta go. thing is one big lie being carried out by our own government. Now, wait a minute. That's a pretty hefty charge there. What could possibly be the point of faking all of this? I'll answer your question with a question. What's the point of the body bags if it's true? Well, I don't know. But if what you're suggesting were true, then it's not just our government. It would have to be every government of every country in the entire world. Who else has seen it? As far as I've heard, not one person in the private sector. Now, thank you, Jacob. And for all of our sake, I hope you're right. This is Jonah Schaefer on WXPK AM, Talk of the Town. More after this. Sunday morning. 
What are you talking about? Yeah, I've got the radio on now. The official release really so states that there is reportedly a black hole, what they are calling a rogue black hole, which has been spotted on its way into our solar system. Okay, okay, I'll read from the page. Apparently the government has known about this for some time. There was um, uh, some kind of an attempted intervention which has failed. It didn't work. Current calculations give an estimated time of five days from now. Is this a joke? I'm reading it. Government relief agencies have been set up in most large cities and some smaller towns. There will be an official announcement from the president within the hour. As of right now, scientists calculate that we have until 9.22 this Friday. After that point, the Earth will begin departing from its original orbit. Phil? What is this thing about the end of life care? What the hell does that mean? Friends and loved ones. Sorry that you received this call, but my beloved wife Judith and I have decided to accept the treatment that was offered. Know that we are safe and sound, as many of you may be in the near future. To my best friend Sam, who's braver than I am. I want you to know that I love you. You have always been the voice of reason. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. Please give the approaching endlessness these last words from me. We arose from nothing, and so shall we return. That is an absolute. But we were here long enough to understand the idea of nothingness. And that is no small accomplishment. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye to all things.
if anyone out there is listening, there are recent developments that are being reported out of Washington. First, let me say that if you are hearing this, then you are safe. We have all survived. In what is being considered nothing short of a miracle, the black hole has simply, for lack of a better word, disappeared. Scientists tracking the anomaly state that it veered off its expected course sometime before 8.45 last night. There are certainly many questions which need to be asked and answered. And I will continue to take your calls this morning as soon as more details become available. question for Jonah. If it was true, what was the point of the body bags? <laughs> <laughs> 